Hello and welcome back to the third rail. Today I finally received a few items I needed to close a gap in the collection. Uh, I qualify this as a mini collection milestone. Uh, they are still in their box. I've uh, ordered them a few weeks ago. They've finally arrived and I can finally get my hands on them. So let me take everything out of their box and we'll have a closer look at them. These are three identical coaches of the FS, that's the Italian National Railway Company, and they are model number 4189, which were released by Merklin in the 1988 version of the program catalog that year. You'll find them on page 77. They are second-class coaches in an updated FS livery. These cars were in use both in national and international traffic. This model was sold between 1988 and 1991, so it's a very short production run. And at the time it must have been quite a welcome addition to the program because uh, before that the last coach that was available for uh, anything Italian was model number 4063 which had been in production only for a few short four years between 1972 and 1976. The short production runs probably reflect low sales levels and as a result these items are relatively scarce and pricey to get. Even items in poor condition fetch, uh, in my opinion, quite high prices for what they are. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get one of them out of its box and see how things look. Uh, I've got a small level problem on my shelf. There we go. We are stationary. That's good. Yes, that doesn't look too bad at all. Actually, it looks even pretty close to new, if not new. I can't see any uh, paint defects anywhere. The cars are in a full plastic construction, chassis and housing. And we have articulated short couplings at both ends, which are separated from the bogies. That was uh, something that had been recently introduced by Merklin at the time. The roof is spotless. Yes, it looks like the seller wasn't lying. So let me get the other cars out of their boxes and we'll see how these look like. There we are. So it's a bit difficult to get everything in the same shot. Let me try and move things around. So everything looks to be in order. Yeah, absolutely nothing to complain about. Uh, let's try and uh, shift to another angle. Sorry for the shaky footage. Same story in the middle. Yeah, they look uh, practically new. Even the wheels don't seem to have seen a lot of track. Well, that will change soon. Uh, yeah, very nice. Let's have a, a general look at the roofs. And as you can see, they are absolutely spotless. Let's move to the uh, chassis. I'll rearrange things a bit. And it is the same story there. Fantastic. Aside from the ability to uh, tick something off my shopping list, these collection milestones are also an opportunity for items I previously owned in the collection to come out and do a few rounds on the track finally. So in this case I already owned one of uh, these coaches, the 4189, so we're going to take this one out. And I also have somewhere a matching locomotive. There it is. It's model number 3162. I've had this model for at least two or three years uh, before I even started the uh, YouTube channel. So it's a uh, 3162 which represents an E424 of the 
FS. It came out in 1988, so the same year as the coaches, and it's on page 27 of the catalogue. I cannot remember the condition the locomotive was in when I bought it, apart that it must have been at least good. So let's have a closer look. There's a little note that says OK in the box, that means that it passed my uh, function tests, that's good. The uh, blister pack or plastic inlay is uh, intact. The locomotive doesn't look too bad, and there's no instructions in the box. Hmm, that's a shame. Right, let's move a bit closer. And the body looks to be actually in pristine condition. Very nice. The roof is absolutely spotless. The pantographs have never seen a bit of overhead line. That will change soon. And uh, the chassis is in good shape. The model has been used, but... Uh, very well kept. We can see that from the yellowing on the uh, driving wheels. OK, enough chat, let's move to the layout. We'll start by doing a quick check to see if the uh, locomotive is working. So, let's give it a bit of power. Yeah, the reverser is working too. Excellent. All it needs is a bit of oil. So I'll do this and then we'll move on to the next bit. Right, time to put the coaches on the track. Uh, that's my favourite activity, of course. It's also a good opportunity to check that the couplings are working, that everything's rolling as it should. Oops, uh, this coach, for example, is not. What's happening? The usual thing in transport, the axles can be dislodged a bit. Let me just put this back in place. Come on, there we go. We are back in business. All right, one more coach, and we'll be able to admire the arrangement with close couplings. It's quite nice. Right, it's time for some action. I'll start by giving the loco a few rounds around a loop on the layout just to check that everything's all right and to allow the oil that I've just put in there to reach the places it needs to be attached to. Sorry for the tripod noises. Yeah, everything is fine. The couplings are not getting caught on turnouts. That's good. Let's give it a few more rounds. And we're ready to get this attached to the coaches. Let's stop there. Change the signal, reverse, and try to gently, whoops, that wasn't that gentle, attach the coaches. And let's send the train on its way. We'll reduce the speed slightly, because the loco seems to be a bit of a racer. And we're going to check that it can negotiate the loop. Let me just set the route. That's it. We're on our way. No problem on this turnout. Yeah, next turnout is also okay. All right, well. It looks like we are ready for the main layout. Right, I'll set the route and we are off. I'm never too sure with 27 centimeter coaches that they are going to behave themselves everywhere on the layout. But it seems to be okay. Check out the new automatic level crossing I showed on the channel a few weeks ago.
We are getting to the acid test, the ramp. Effortless. Very good. And we've got the usual acceleration down the ramp, as is uh, normal with all analog locos. And that means the consist has successfully negotiated the main line. Fantastic! So, I'm going to shut up now and leave you with a few impressions of the consist from various angles. Well, I think I can say that I'm not disappointed with my purchase. It's a beautiful little thing. Right, that's it for today. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. It's very much appreciated. I'd also like to thank all the subscribers to the channel. It's always uh, very nice to see that people are interested in the content I publish or produce and so much so that they subscribe and hit the notification bell not to miss any updates and sometimes even give me a like. That's all very rewarding and keeps me going. Thanks very much again for this. Bye for now.